In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the appearance panel to create complex shapes and to simplify your workflow. Right here, I have a design created using three separate paths. With the help of the appearance panel, I can recreate this design using only a single layer. To do that, let's access the appearance panel by going to the window menu and appearance. The cool thing about appearance panel is that you can create more than one fill and stroke layer. Now let's create an additional fill layer by selecting the object, go to the appearance panel and select add new fill. Right now, as you can see, I have two fill layers. I'm going to change the color of this second layer to this teal color. And to expand or shrink this path, I can select this object this layer, go to the effects panel, and I'm going to use offset path. So over here, I can increase or decrease the size of the path. And now I'm going to do the same thing again by selecting this layer here and hit the duplicate selected item icon. And I have created the third fill layer. I'm going to do the same. I'll pick the new color and I'll increase the size of this fill layer. And very easily, I've created the design using only a single layer, and this way, your workflow will be more organized. Other than adding additional fill layers or stroke layers to your object, you can also play around with all the other effects that you can access through the effects panel. For example, I want to add an inner glow to the yellow color layer by going to stylize, inner glow. I can also add in a drop shadow for the back layer. Just make sure that you select the original object, select the layer that you want to apply the effects to, and drop shadow. And now I have two different effects on two different layers. If you want to apply an effect on all three layers, make sure you select the object without any layer selected apply any effects that you want, such as round corners. This way, the effects will affect all the layers in your appearance panel. Now let's try adding some texture to it. I'm going to add a texture on the middle layer. Select the object and make sure you select the fill layer. Go to effects. I think I'll go with uh, something called the smudge stick. Okay, so I will get a preview of this texture, select OK, and instantly you can see the texture is applied only on the second layer that I've selected. But there's one problem with this. As you can see, all the edges here are very pixelated. And the reason why this is happening is because if you look at the effects, the whole column here, it's called the Photoshop effects. That means most of the effects here, if not all, are raster effects. To fix the pixelated edge issue, what I can do is I'll duplicate this layer. Right now I have two same layer and I'm going to delete this effect underneath. I'll go to the layer above here and I'm just going to shrink this layer with the effect. As you can see, when I shrink this layer, the pixelated edge will be hidden inside of the bottom layer here. So I'm going to shrink it a little bit more and press OK. If you feel that the pixels are still too big, remember to double check your PPI settings, your pixel per inch by going to the document raster effect settings and make sure that you change it to 300 PPI. This way, the pixels will be denser and it will look better compared to having only 72 pixels per inch. You can also save this appearance as a new graphic style. Go to the window menu and bring out the graphic style panel. While selecting the object, hit the new graphic style icon to save it as a new graphic style. So in the future, if you have a new object and you want to reuse this design, you can simply select the object and left click on the graphic style. 